Hello everyone, hope you're all doing fine. Let's talk about Python uh, data types tuple. Yeah, so let me go ahead and create a new notebook here and let me say Python data types tuple. Hmm? Okay. Uh, Okay, so what is tuple? Imagine it's like it's like a dictionary, but you can't edit it. So how to create an empty tuple? Let's see if I say type T. If you you see that it's a tuple, let me define another one. Create a tuple with just one element. Oops. I think I did a spelling mistake. Shift enter. And, uh, type tu is integer. But so if I just go ahead and you know, give just one element, if you want to create a tuple with one element, uh, if you do it like this, it won't work. In dictionary, yes, you can create it like this, uh, provided. Let's say if I say I'm, uh, I'm not talking about I'm sorry uh, not dictionary list. Let's say ls1 and I'll say ls1 equals yeah. So type ls1. That's a list, right? But you can't do that with tuple. What you have to do with tuple is go ahead and do this, right? So you need to have a comma. Then if you say type one. I'm sorry, type tu, it's a tuple. So does that mean that every element in tuple ends with a comma? Let's see that. Let's go ahead and give two elements, type tu, yeah? So if it's only one element, it will end with a comma. Otherwise, it's okay, yeah? So let's mention that a tuple that single element should a uh, single a uh, single element ends with a comma okay all right now we can also define tuple like this one comma two type t is a tuple then let's uh, perform some operations with tuple import string I'll say string dot digits is this. I wanna let's say I wanna convert. Let's say right now it's type. Let me say t one equals string dot digits. Type t one right now is a string. I want to convert it to a tuple. How should I do that? Uh, do a what do you say? Uh, casting right t1 equals tuple t1 so that is now if you see type t1 it says tuple and t1 is this 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so from string directly you can convert that to a tuple let us talk about tuple packing This is tuple packing. So T2 is 1, 2, 3. T2 is this, 1, 2, 3. So what happened here? Uh, let's say uh, we have a tuple which has 1, 2, 3. We want to um, pack that uh, all these three values to into uh, a single variable. Right. Usually what you do is you have one variable and you will have one value t2 is equal to one. So it's a variable. This is the variable and this is the variable's value. But if you assign multiple values like this using a comma to a variable, then it will become a tuple. It's called tuple packing. You're packing everything. Uh, I mean, Python will automatically pack this into a tuple. Mm. 
sequins unpacking. What is this here? Uh, it's the opposite of tuple packing. T2. X comma Y comma Z is T2. It should be correct. Okay, let's say. Okay, first let me go ahead and um, put this information here. Code markdown. Yeah. So let's say X Y Z. Right, X comma Y comma Z is equal to two. To it says cannot unpack non-iterable integer objects. Obviously it can't. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to say T2 is when we're we gonna do T2 is one comma two comma three the way it was earlier. However, let's say if I say X comma Y comma z equals t2 now what happens so t2 is 1 to 3 now i did x comma y comma z equals to t2 so basically what it looks like is it this is what happens in the background so, so this a equals to b b equal to c so let's go ahead and remove this and this is what happens so yeah, but well, let's uh, just see that instead of um, x, y, z. Now, as you can see, first we assigned x, y. Uh, first we assigned uh, the value uh, for uh, for the variable t two. We assigned one, two, three values, and then that is called uh, tuple packing. Now, sequence unpacking is something where for an already assigned uh, variables because t2 already exists i can't do this directly to uh, uh, this to a t3 or something else let's say t3 is what so t3 is not defined right so can i do a comma b comma c sorry let's say x y z it's a x comma y comma z equals t3 can i do that no because t3 doesn't exist so you can do sequence unpacking to a sequence which already is present or let's say you can unpack something which is already packed you can't unpack uh, an open box right so here we packed something tuple packing and here we are unpacking it so that's what tuple or sequence un sequence unpacking works let's do bool one is true 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 Pool two is true, false, true. Now bool three is false, false, false. Bool one contains all true statements. Bool two, tuple contains all uh, a mixed of true and false. Bool three contains only false. So what am I trying to do? If I do all and say bool one, so what is it checking? All, right, let me put comments here, all tuple checks if the tuple, if all the values of tuple are true. Let me do this. Well, let's do a even better. Yeah, now let's do any any bool one is true any 
bool two is also true any bool three is false what any checks is the any if any one of the tuple element is true then it prints out true so let me put this here itself tick mark any tuple checks if any value of tuple is true okay so that's all we had then let's go ahead and do again uh, strings dot digits oh i'm sorry ascii okay give me one sec here yep string dot digits correct Keep forgetting it. D one is string dot digits. Yeah. And all will do D one is tuple string dot digits. I'd rather do that. Yeah, now we have T one here. So this is T one. Zero one two three four five six seven eight nine. Now enumerate. Enumerate t1 what does it do okay it created an enumerator then i will say tuple mm, rather what i would do here is instead of doing that i will store it into a a value i will assign a variable if i print a it's the same thing now i will convert that to a tuple so what happened here it it is enumerating um, let me take another example yeah so what should I take another example uh, you might have uh, seen that you know we earlier saw uh, ASCII uh, integers and ASCII uh, alphabets and alphanumerics so what it, what here uh, an enumerator does is it assigns uh, kind of um, a value it enumerates this is our original column and it's adding you know uh, a value it's enumerating it's adding an index to it let's say you have a table and you have a, at the left hand side you will have a count on the right hand side you will have the actual elements right so that is what uh, it is uh, doing let me see now if i do dir strings okay ASCII underscore lowercase name strings is not defined ah, string dot I have okay of course string dot lowercase now let's go ahead and convert this mm, to uh, a tuple I'll say alpha ALT alpha alphabetics tuple. I'll say tuple. As you can see, you know, I don't remember all these modules and what do you have inside those modules unless until I'm using them every day, but I nobody uses these every day. At least I mean as unless your work involves um string manipulation uh, tasks every day 
So this is it. I will say, let me go ahead and do this. Alt, okay, so this is what I have, uh, tuple. Let's do type ALT is a tuple. Again, what if I want to do an enumerate to this? I have um, enumerate here, right? So same way, I'll just copy this. Instead of this, T1, I will do ALT, yeah? And A is, it says enumerator. I don't want to print, print that one. I want to print the exact value. As you can see, it is enumerating it. 0 to 25 in real world if we we count from 1 to 26 so but in most of the programming languages the count begins from 0 so 0 to 25 okay so what if you don't want to start the enumeration from 0 you want to start your uh, set your own number that also can be done let's say We'll take the tuple, enumerate, T1 was the original, this was the original. Now let's go ahead and modify this a bit. I wanna start with let's say 11, yeah? So now you see 11, 12, 13, 14. What if I wanna start with um, triple one? Uh, let's say one zero nine, yeah. So you can give your own starting point as well. As usual, just like a list, we have this, which can calculate the length of a tuple. In this tuple T one, we have ten elements, zero to nine, so it prints ten. Just like a list, you can get max. T1, minimum T1, it gets the largest and the smallest number, a smallest element to be precise. Then, okay, uh, concatenation. Let's say T1, what is T2? Have you defined? Okay, this is T2, T2, this is T1. Let's see what happens. T2, yeah. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then 1, 2, 3. It is tuple concatenation. Tuple concatenation. Then apart from that, we have membership, membership checking. 1 in T1. False. Uh, this is T1. And we don't have one because this is a string and here we are checking for a number or integer one in t1 yeah and if i say one not in t1 true so let's say x in tuple I'm gonna set this to a markdown. X in tuple checks if X is a member of tuple. Let me do this. Now here I have another one, X not in tuple checks if x not a member of tuple then apart from that in dictionary i'm sorry in list we also checked sorted and sort let's see this is t1 t1 dot sort 
yeah but you will get an error because a uh, tuple object has no attribute sort so then we can't sort a tuple you know why because tuple is immutable unchangeable it's fixed you can't change it sorting requires you to change it so you can't sort it. but let's say there's a tuple which you want to sort and what you do is you convert that to a list sort it or convert that to a set sort it do whatever you want and then convert it back to tuple let's say we have jail equals this batman superman flash and i'm going to say type jail is a list tuple jail now it converts that to a tuple converts a collection to a tuple t1 dot count one so basically what it does is tuple dot count x counts how many times x has occurred in the given tuple but if i say t1 dot count count one it returns zero because there is it appears zero times because there's no tuple there t1 dot index yeah nine is nine so what it does is tuple dot index x gets a index of x from a given tuple so that is all we have for tuple right what, what all you need to know to interact with tuple Later when we talk about like, let's say functions, loops, conditional statements, then we will go through all these data types. So thank you for tuning in, have a great one.